Hey folks, how y'all doing today? We're going to be doing a video on uh, Davis Vantage View or weather stations for your renewable energy. It's important to have a weather station whether you have wind or solar, any of that. That way you can check your humidity, your temperatures, and that way when you data log and all that stuff, this is a great thing to have. Uh, especially with wind. You got your anemometer, all that kind of stuff. You can see what you're doing with the wind speed, along with your wind turbine, see what kind of power you're making, that this and that, and temperature, UV rays. All that stuff. I don't have all. I don't have UV rays sensor or radiation sensor on my uh, David's Vantage Pro sensor suite, but it, um, it gets me by what I want to do. But having a personal weather station with your uh, your renewable energy setup is real, real crucial. I mean, it's great to have. All right, here is my Davis Vantage view right here. Um, it's my Vantage View console. Um, I had the Vantage View sensor suite and console, then I upgraded to Vantage Pro 2, and they are um, they work together great. So the Vantage Pro 2 and the uh, Vantage View console will work together good. And as you see here, I had the old style um, Cape Cod weather station. That's barometric pressure in the center. That's uh, wind direction up here. And that's your wind speed right here also. So yeah, she's blowing a little bit, blowing about five mile an hour out there right now. And I'll take I'll take you through what we got. All right. And like I said, when I data log every evening, yeah, I, I did temperature because temperature and everything are vital to solar panels. And but humidity humidity is a big factor also. All right. Let's get back to the video. I'll show you what I got. Okay, as you see here, this is my my main Vantage Pro 2 console. And y'all, it is essential to have. It's right next to my big solar array. And the standard height that you want these things is um, for NOAA, NOAA Weather, Na no, National Weather Service, is from about four to six feet to the bottom of the radiation sensor. So that's what I have at. So that's the correct ground level for what you need. And it's raining out here as we speak. It's a Vantage, Davis Vantage Pro 2 sensor suite. And over here, I'll get a closer. I'll, be, I'll get a closer look at that. Okay, over here is my Davis Vantage Pro 2. It's a separate transmitter, but it's right next to my wind turbines. So whenever I pick up wind, the wind turbines will be spinning. So let me zoom in on that a little bit. It's got the solar panel and a monitor all in one. So yeah, it's a great feature. I'll give you another look at, at it too from a different angle. But yeah, very good idea to have an anemometer, of course, when you have wind. Or anything, wind helps cool your solar panels. This is a good thing to have. A weather station is a good thing to have. All right, I'll, I'll give you a different angle. Okay, y'all, here's another uh, view of my anemometer with the uh, extra transmitter on it. Y'all can see the little antenna up there. But I had three consoles all together, one inside the house next to where I sit. Then I have one in my solar shop. Then I have one in the uh, office we just I just showed you. That's where the ethernet's hooked to. All right, I'll show you my other one here. It's pouring down rain out here right now. Okay, folks, here's my other one. This is inside the uh, solar shop, as you can see. But yeah, that's a great, a, day, a weather station is a great thing to have when you have a renewable energy system. Solar and wind power, it's just awesome. They all, they all go together. I mean, weather and solar all go together. 
and as you see here I dad log every evening like for example weather is clear and I put the high 44 you can read my chicken scratch high 44 and tell you what kind of power I made you know uh, 2, 2.0 kilowatt hours it's not a real good day cloudy this is this cloudy right there partly cloudy 13.0 high 53 rain 0.4 kilowatt hours Ooh, not good yeah just a little something something but uh, yeah weather station is an awesome thing to have on your renewable energy system alright I hope I covered everything but we'll go outside and see the other sensor suite right. okay this is the Vantage Pro sensor suite this is, has an antenna right here and this goes from here and goes to my solar shop right there the back window is so but this tells you the humidity barometric pressure rain gauge and it has a solar panel that charges up the battery every, all day long and at night it runs i mean it uses like a fo like a camera battery in there uh you can spend some little battery but it works good and there's little spikes up there for the birds to try to land on them and then put drop us down inside your inside your rain gauge and we'll take a peek down inside there got to see that but yeah I mean crucial good thing to have for your renewable energy system and this is one of them cloudy dreary days winter days it's December the 12th uh, and it's 12 17 in the afternoon we don't have very hardly any Sun but hey it's all good it's all good I'm using my Nikon uh, underwater camera right now that videotape this waterproof shockproof do-it-all camera it's a aw 130 I believe it is yeah aw 130 but yeah great thing to have great system to have and I just got up mantle on a pole some scrap that I had from my fencing and just put it in the ground with a, a post post hold, uh, post driver. But and it gets plenty of sun. Or gives a space in the south. It does all everything it needs to do. So yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So alright. Carry it back in the shop here. Okay folks. Let's say this is uh this tells you everything you want to know right here. Fall barometer, the air is going down. That's your barometric pressure. This is the inside temperature here, outside temperature there. Wind speed, wind direction all around here. And my little whistle from my camera. I mean my phone. <laughs> Alright. And last gust, six mile an hour. And it's touch of in a humidity. Um uh, or dew point, ninety five percent. Thirty six percent in here, that's great. Uh, great temperature and it does and it data logs this thing will dead log from forever it shows you the highs the lows records any kind of data you can ever imagine so davis fans view davis weather stations that they are the bomb and they're made in usa and for the money you cannot beat them. and i'm hooked up to the weather underground right here here's my weather link ip and the cord runs from here Bam! Goes right here, and it goes up uh, my, my Ethernet, and it goes right here to my my modem slash router, modem slash router, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. But yeah, it's a great thing to have if you have renewable energy. Just wanted to pass that on, y'all. I've seen a lot of guys over the years that had solar wind power. Um, just a great thing to have, and I'm linked to Weather Underground. And it's, I'll show you a link, well, I'll show you a link to that too. Alright. 
Okay, folks, here we are. This is me. I am following my little cursor. This should be me right here. This is Viral Lossy WX Station. And this is Davis Weatherlink. Awesome. I hit that button. Then I hit, hit this again. And there we are. Shows you everything that's going on. Rain, 0.12. Uh, a little over a tenth of the rain today. Barometric pressure. Falling rapidly. Wind. South of 2 mile an hour. Humidity 95%. It just shows you, and, and you can look up any, anybody you want on the map, and your YouTube buddies or solar buddies, that kind of stuff, hunting buddies. And right here on Weather Underground, this is my station right here. Yeah, this is my station. And we've got a wonder, wonder, ground, wonder map on Weather Underground. It's just got some cool features, y'all. And it shows you... The rain is coming through, coming by us. And I'll see if I can find me. Uh, I should be right around here. Uh, let's see here. But it's just a great, great tool to have. Great tool to have. Uh, I think I am right in here. No. Nope. No, that's not me. Okay, let's see here. Well, okay, here we go. We're over here. Alright. Zoom in. That's me right there, Saffron Place. KVHS 28. And we'll click on that. And this is a great tool to have, y'all. Yep, and it shows my station. It shows a little bit of everything going on. And I got the gold. Oh, yeah. I got a gold star, Woo gold star station, a dog. That means it's got good quality control for the past five consecutive days. That's good. See that? All right. Well, anyway, y'all got the hint. It's a great thing to have. Uh, uh, Davis is a hard station to beat. Great tool to have. Awesome. Great tool to have. Okay, folks. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I just wanted to share the weather stations with y'all and how important it is to have, um, you know, with your system. It's a great thing to have. You measure your humidity, your dew point, heat index, wind chill. Everything's a factor with solar panels. In, uh, Davis Vantage View. Or Vantage Pro 2, Davis is a great station for the money. I'm not going to kid you not. They rock. Davis Weather Instruments rock. So, y'all, you got any questions, comments, please uh, leave them down below in the comments. Hey, many thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify. Hoorah. Y'all take it easy now, y'all. Thanks for a lot. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.